Hey guys, it's Jeff, the Counseling Geek here. I'm here to bring you a quick video explanation to go along with the blog uh, post that I am publishing here in the next couple weeks. Uh, this blog post is all about helping create uh, beautiful and useful school counseling websites. Um, so what I'm going to show you guys uh, is how I kind of recreated my website through my school site. Um, I found that even though our school district recently changed um, website providers and platforms um, and improved it to a certain level, it was not doing for me what I wanted it to be able to do. So what I did was I went and actually created a different website that I had a little bit more control over. I could do some more things that I was looking to do with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to really kind of manage the back end of a website provider called Weebly. You might be familiar with that, you might not. It's W-E-E-B-L-Y and it's Weebly.com to learn more about the program itself. Um, but what I'll do is I will show you guys a little bit about this. My website, The Counseling Geek, is not run on Weebly, it's run on WordPress. Um, but it, Weebly, I find, takes a lot of the um, the expertise needed to run a website and design it beautifully and usefully um, out of the equation. Um, where WordPress does similar things, it's a little bit more complex though and requires a little bit more know-how on the back end of things. So um, let's take a look at my current website. So this is a website, I'm still working on it and I'm tweaking things as I find out you know, what I like or don't like, what parents and students are finding useful. Um, but this is all designed and run on Weebly. And so ultimately, um, all this is is drag and droppable uh, features in um, this Weebly uh, website creator. And so all of these menus, all of the really pretty things um, that have to do with images and effects and all this stuff make it look really, really professional. In fact, I have a number of people that have come up and told me, oh, did you have a pr professional designer help you with this? And I said, no, I did it all myself and they looked rather impressed. Um, not really knowing that I run my own website on my own, but um, you know they, they said it looked very professional, even more so potentially than our school website. So what I'll do is I'll take you in here, and basically if you go over to Web Weebly, this is what the homepage looks like at this you know date of recording, um, but basically in order to get started, and it is completely free, what you do on here is free. You'll lose a few features, but it is all free. So I would encourage you to look at it. If you want more information on pricing, there's information you can upgrade, for example, to get your own URL, um, to take away some of the branding, to do a few other um, things that, in general, for most people, you can do without. Um, but there is a paid product if you're looking for that. Um, in order to do that, just go ahead and click sign up. I actually signed up with my Google account. You can log in with Google, create an account with Google. Um, through say a school account which I did and it's very easy it's it there, you know, I don't even have to remember a username and password click sign up and then once you do that that's gonna take you to basically a blank dashboard and you can create multiple sites I have one site here um, you can create multiple just by clicking this button and click, clicking add site so if you have um, a different site that you wanted to run for some reason you can easily manage it all from one place um, so, so basically what, that, what you'll be doing when you get started with the website is deciding a few key things. Number one is going to be what your URL is. So you want to decide if you, you know, want to name it a certain thing. I just called mine NTHS Counseling. You'll get a website that looks like this, nthscounseling.weebly.com. And on my school's website, I just redirect the link that says school counseling to this website. Um, if you don't have access or the know-how to do that with your website, you might want to talk to your web, um, whoever your webmaster is who manages your website to make sure that that's a possibility, number one, and within district policy. So always, I always encourage people, before you make any huge efforts and changes with social media, web, web design, that kind of stuff, make sure you're checking before you spend a lot of time and energy um, on something like this. So in order to edit the site, so when you go on there, you'll create the site, you'll have a blank template, and I'll show you how to do that. Mine's already created, so what I'll do um, is go into my edit area, and kind of walk you through this. We'll obviously have content in there, but I'll walk you through some of the key pieces. We'll actually build a page together just to show you how easy it really is. Um, when you're doing that, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually pick a theme. Okay, so picking a theme lives here. Okay, and so you can actually change themes. And all of the, many of these themes are, I believe almost all of them are free, um, and you can customize them. Okay, so you know, looking through here, you can check out different portfolios. Different themes are going to have a different emphasis, um, and a different feel, and a different use. Um, 
I am using, I actually forget, um, I am using this bird's eye online store theme. So that's the one. I've also used this theme here, um, and I liked this one better. So this one gave me the things that I was looking for, gave me the look I was looking for, um, and so that's the one I'm using. Feel free to use that if you'd like. Um, so once you pick, pick your theme, it'll change all the stuff, and you can change themes later, just so you know. So if you decide that, hey, I want to change themes, that's fine. Just go through. You can change a few themes and change back, um, and all the content will be adjusted. Just know that it will make things look different. You might have to go back and tweak different areas. Um, you can change the fonts. You can change a whole bunch of stuff. If you're super nerdy and want to change HTML or CSS, if you know what that means, um, you can do that down here. Um, there are also things you can purchase up here in the store and apps that can help you. Um, the settings let you go through things like, again, the site title. So give it the title that you want to call it. That shows up at the top of your page up here. Um, you can you know, upload a fav icon, which basically replaces this W with an icon you choose. Um, that's a paid product. You can protect certain areas of the password, or sorry, certain sections of your site with the password, or the whole site. So if you want to have a access only site for some reason, you can do that. Say it's a, for a class or something like that, you can use that there. Um, there's a whole bunch of settings that you can do here. Um, so you can also in invite new editors, so people on your team you might want to do. Um, it, it's, a, it's a pretty useful tool. And so what you're going to want to do is, once we get out of settings, and this help is really, really useful too. Um, what you want to do is actually create a page. And so when you log in, it'll probably show a blank page. This will probably be your main landing page. Okay. And so under pages at the top up here, you'll probably see home. Okay. So I'm going to create another page just for demonstration purposes. All of these are pages that I've created and they can be nested. So you just drag them around. Okay. So you can just drag them around. That would be, um, a link underneath quick links. When it's over here, this is a link underneath school profile. So it kind of has this nesting pattern that you can do. Okay. Um, underneath home, I can click on home and click pages and it's going to get let me rename it. It's going to let me change the header type potentially. And you can play around with what all those different things are. SEO, SEO stands for search engine optimization. What that does is it just helps the search engines like Google or Microsoft or Bing or something like that, Yahoo, to be able to find the information. So when someone comes and searches in THS counseling, this page might show up. And so that's helpful for, for the, the computers that actually do what's called crawling your website. Um, but if I wanted to say create a new page, I just hit plus. And it's going to give me a couple different options. Standard is a page that you can create, um, very similar to this page. A category page will put, it basically if you're trying to sell something typically, um, an external page is, say for example, when I use um, this button here is linked to somewhere else, but I can, underneath quick links, if you click on that, um, this link is an external link and it shows the link that it's going to, which is my schedule once booking page. Um, so that would be how you link to something else that's not within Weebly. And then a non-clickable menu would be something like, um, let's see if I can find one, like one of these, um, maybe one of these different links. If you just wanted this to open up a sub menu but not be able to be clicked on, that would be the link you would choose. We're going to select standard page. That's probably the most frequent one. I'm just going to say sample. Okay. You can hide this in case for some reason you want to hide it. I don't know why you necessarily would. Um, and then you can change the header, no header. Splash is going to be a bigger image. So that's going to change to make basically one image. And that might be good for a landing page or certain something or other, but I like header. Um, and then I'm going to hit done. Okay. So that'll show up here. And then now at the top, you can see this new menu. All right. So as I move this around, if I say, for example, wanted to nest it under about us, it's going to move there. And now you can see sample is underneath about us because I put it there. I can also move it up here like this. Okay. And it's going to show up like that. So that's a very simple way to move things around. Okay. But because we're going to be editing here, so it's going to give you a couple pre-loaded settings based on your template. This top one is going to be uh, a title. So you might just put sample page. Okay, and it's set based on your, um, your your template that you have chosen. You can add things up here as well, too, and I'll show you that in just a second. Say, for example, you want to say, hey, I want to edit the background of this, this page. You can click Edit Background, and you can do a couple different things. Number one is you can replace the image. 
Okay, so if you don't like the image of the snow, that's kind of my Lake Tahoe image from where I live. Um, what you can do is you can up, you can find pictures. One of my favorite websites for finding pictures is called Pixabay. Okay, and this is what it looks like. It's a free stock image website. So most stock images you have to actually buy. This provides free images and they're pretty high quality and you can find a lot of different stuff. So that's a great tool when you're building websites and things like that. So you can always upload an image. Um, make sure that it's a high quality, high resolution image. Typically like 1920 by 1080, that's going to be full HD. And that's, you know, many phones, many computer screens are becoming more and more high definition. If you upload like half that size, when you do that, it's going to be pixelated and it's going to look really horrible. Okay, so you can do that. Um, you can import it from a URL. There's a lot of different ways. Also, if you exit this, they have a couple backgrounds that you can automatically select that look pretty good, that are pretty you know diverse and useful and actually are going to be high quality. So you can click on any of these as well. Say, for example, I wanted to do this one or say this one. Okay, the other one didn't look so good with this. Um, background. So if I did this one, that looks a little bit better. And I can continue to tweak it as much as possible. Down here, I can even turn on a blur, say for example. So say I didn't like the way that it, it still kind of, the words still kind of blended into the background. I can blur it, and now the words stand out a little bit more. Okay, so there's a lot of different things you can do with that. So I'll just hit save, and that's going to save the background image. Okay, another thing that you can do underneath this build button at the top, this is where you're going to have all your drag and drop items. Okay, you saw on the home page I had a button. All I have to do is come up here and you see this little blue icon that says this is where this is going. I can drag this little button out here and now there's a button. I click on it and I can edit the button text and say, um, join now. And I can go back and I can create a link. So if I wanted to link to another page or another area, a blog post, a phone number, a file, or an email, I can do that. Um, I can change the style of the button so I can make it a bigger one with white. You'll be limited a little bit on that. Um, and then the, the, you know, so now anytime someone clicks that, they'll take you to a different page or something like that. Um, all of these items you can just play around with. Okay, title is going to list a title. Um, you can add an image down here. You can also create two, two or more um, columns. So you can create that. Um, if you wanted to say, um, add a document. You can add a third column here. Okay, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Third column might be a little bit tight on some screens, so you might want to just limit it to. But um, different sections and spacers, all these different types of things help you create a beautiful website. All right, so what we're doing, and it's just strictly what you see is what you get. Okay, I'm going to type in a title. Hi. Okay, and then I'm going to move on. I can go and say, for example, add some, add a block quote. Okay, and it just helps things stand out. There's surveys, there's an RSVP form. Um, you, I, there are some add-on apps that you can add through this app store. For example, an accordion. That's another thing that you saw on my homepage. It, I use it for things like announcements and stuff like that. So here's an example of the accordion. Okay, so it just shows, hey, incoming eighth graders. And then they can click on that if that applies to them and learn more. All right, so there's some good stuff that you can do on this. Um, a lot of the information is pretty self-explanatory. The one, the last thing I'll tell you about some of this stuff is I just showed you in less than maybe 10 minutes how to go and create a new website. What I want you to do though is think about how you want things to be used. Okay, You shouldn't have 10 or 12 different items on this top menu. Okay, Think of it like a filing cabinet. Okay, You're going to want one big filing cabinet. That's going to be for my filing cabinet I have four different drawers. Okay. In each of the four drawers, I have different things. Okay. Quick links is to be something that, from my experience, people and students tend to use more frequently. Okay. So I want it to be an easily found area. Okay. So link to the blog. And here's another um, example of what you can do. You can actually publish blog posts on here. You just click new post and it's the same thing. You drag and drop. It's a pretty, pretty standard thing. But I want people to be able to access this. The different counseling areas. So this is going to be the three ASCA domains and then some different area of resources. Okay, so people can click on these things, learn about academic counseling, learn about the individual learning plans, okay? 
about us. This is an information about me. I've added some information people like, might like to know about me. Um, they can get access to things like um, the vision, mission, belief statement, okay, uploaded in PDF format. Um, our school profile. There's a lot of different stuff on here. So I would encourage you to think through that and kind of build your hierarchy. Some people even will sketch out, okay, not necessarily the pages, but okay, underneath this link, we're going to have this information. Okay, and keeping things relatively um, orderly and hierarch hierarchical um, so that all the academic counseling stuff can fit underneath one area. Okay, so I'd highly encourage you to try this out. Give Weebly a shot. There's another tool out there called Wix, which you can check out. Um, I've used both. I actually like Weebly a little bit better, um, but both are, are, are really, really great things. Okay, so I'd encourage you to, to make your own website. Make it more useful um, and use it for yourself. And, this is, and Weebly is a great tool to be able to do that.